In this video, we were looking at uh, how can we include the higher order into my regression model and uh, why we wanted to include a higher order into the regression model. So the first uh, worksheet, if you're looking on the data set from the D2L, you're going to find this worksheet. So we have two columns, home size and a kilowatt per hour per mile. So this data set is collected for the following examples. So I show this show the data for size of the house and how much electricity that house uses per month. We want to find the best regression model form for electricity usage as a function of home size. Do you think the simple linear regression model is the best fit and why? So obviously, every time you get this data set, you first need to identify which is, which is your dependent variable and which one is your independent variables. So the first column, home size, second column is uh, electricity use usage. So obviously, you want to see how the home size is going to have an impact on the electricity use. So the column B is your Y variable, and the column A is your X variable. So that's starting from the very easy or very simple, simple linear regression model. So first, click data and find data analysis and then choose, move down, choose regression, and click OK. And then for the Y range, we just identify that is my B column, so from B1 to B11. B11. And for the uh, X range, it's A column from A1 to A11. And then don't forget to check labels, because the first row is the labels. Uh, and then let's place my result in a new worksheet called uh, uh, Q1 Simple because we are working on a simple linear regression model. And also, to keep a good habit, check all the box. Because you may find a good model, then you may need to test your five different assumptions imposed on the linear regression model. So now we're going to click OK now. So now I generate my result. And then I can keep two decimal places for every numbers I have here. And uh, so first, before we're looking at other uh, uh, assumption testing, we look at uh, how good the model is. So first, the quality of my sample model, 83%, A1% is pretty good. So if we're looking at adjusted R squared, A1% of variation in the electricity consumption can be, uh, can be explained by my regression model. So besides that, look at my, my hypothesis significance test. So first, simple linear regression model. Both F and the T test, they are the same. So we can just look at one of them. So look at the significance F. It's very significant under 0.05 level. So my model actually is very significant, pretty good. And, uh, but uh, as I said, uh, in this practice, we are trying to find the best model. So then we're going to look at my five assumptions one by one. So let's starting from my first assumption, linear relationship. Look at the line theta plot first, and we delete the orange dot. So after we delete the orange dot, the left is my scatter plot x versus y. So first, if you're looking at this scatter plot, what can you find? Can you see any a little bit of curvature here? Definitely, yes, a little bit of curvature. So then you might need to ask yourself, should you, should you create the model that are able to capture the curvature from your scatter plot? So that might be a part way to improve the model quality you have here, although you got 81% uh, in R, uh, just R squared, pretty good. So we still need to consider if we can improve to about 90%, that would be a really excitement improvement of the model. So we do see the curvature. So in the class, we mentioned that if you want to capture the curvature from your scatter plot, you need to include uh, in adding one more term the second order of the x or predictors. So now we need to create a, uh, another variable because the new model we're looking for is y, uh, y equal to y hat equal to b0 plus, plus b1x plus b2x square because the b to x square will be able to capture that curvature we've seen from the scatter plot. So we know the value for x, that's home size, but we don't know the x square, so we need to add the one more predictor, x square. So first, as I mentioned in the class, that uh, when you're using Excel, 
you need to make sure all your predictor are should be next to each other. So if you just type in the x square on this column, two column, so your x and x square are separated by the y variable. So that's not allowed. So instead, we are insert, we are inserting one column next to the home size. Let's call it size square. Size square. And in order to capture the value for x square, so in the first observation, we know that's the observation for the x size square is based on the home size. So every observation from home size will be square. So that's how we get observation for size square. So first in the two A2 cell, we type in equal sign, and then choose the value from the B2, and the then power by two, so that's uh, x square. And then push enter on the keyboard. So we got uh, um, 1,664,100. So for the rest of the variable value, we can use the powerful function, either drop down, the drop down function from Excel. So we'll be able to fill in all the observations value. So this is my Y in the C column. B and A is my pre predictors. So now we will run the regression model again. So find the data, data analysis, choose regression, and then click OK. So the Y range now is my C column. So we choose C column. And then my X range is A and B column. So we have two predictor now. And then click uh, and make sure you rename the files. For instance, we call the Q1 square. So we have the square term included, second order included into my model. Then click OK. And again, we will keep two decimal places for my output. And uh, let's see my results. First, look at my uh, R square and adjust the R square. So R square and adjust the R square. So first, when you're comparing the two models with a different number of the predictors, and it's better to use adjust R square. So in the class, I mentioned why we need to use adjust R square. So in this example, we have the simple linear regression model with one predictor. So this second order simple linear regression model has uh, two predictors. So we need to compare based on the adjust R square. So first here we see that the just R square is 98%. So do you remember what's that before in the simple linear regression model? Let's go back to look at it. So yes, that's 81%. So now we have improved to 98%. So that's a really great improvement. And also let's check the significance. So the significance F is 0 0.00, which means under the 0.05 level, my model is very significant. So, which means by adding my second term, this uh, second order into the model, actually I improve my model quality. Again, the reason we are considering to add the second the order into the model is because after I run the regression model, I look at my scatter plot, x versus y scatter plot, I saw the curvature. That inspired me to consider the second order to add to my regression model. So in next mo uh, video, we're going to look at how can we add the interaction to the regression model.